All right, quick update for strong. So uh, pretty much everything in the market is having somewhat of a pump today. If we come over to the total crypto market cap, you can see, you know, obviously we were down. I think we measured this in my last video. Uh, we were basically down 7% yesterday. And so far, you know, we're, we're not even up 1.5% uh, from where we are right now. So I would just be cautious until we do start turning around, breaking market structure. Uh, for me personally, I'm a conservative trader, like I always say. So I would need to see a trend reversal. Uh, before I even, you know, think about getting into any of these coins or tokens personally, uh, I wouldn't be buying strong, um, you know, I'm just not a fan of it, but from a completely unbiased technical perspective, we did look at this uh, the past few videos, we started making videos at 270, and once we did come down to 245, I said my target would be all the way down here at 162. We came down to 155, so, so far we've perfectly hit my first target. Now, my second target, also if you've been watching my videos, I mentioned this big box down here between 77 and 70. Now, whether that comes into fruition, yet to be seen, we will need to kind of judge how we do act in this bounce. Now, in my opinion, you know, like I said, I outlined this in the last video, if we do something like this, bounce from the 1.618, we could come all the way up to maybe 250 uh, before we do roll over and start breaking uh, the trend again. So, uh, being completely honest with this uh, with this token, I mean it has had some very nice buying volume coming in. Whenever I do see something good about this uh, this coin or the token, I will you know give it the benefit of the doubt and I will you know like I said say everything that I see. So, uh, RSI looks like it's turning up quite strongly as well. Um, but the money flow indicator is pretty much flat, so it, it does, it's kind of a little bit weird how the uh, the volume is increasing, but there is basically no money flowing into this coin. Uh, obviously this does have quite a low market cap to be fair, so that is probably why, but you know, until we do see a big turnaround in the money flow, I would imagine this is somewhat of a dead cap bounce. Uh, previously also, if we do look at whenever we do have these big one daily spikes in volume, it is almost always met with a dump afterwards. Whether it's a big dump, um, obviously normally this, this was in a bull trend up until here, so uh, it's kind of difficult to do analysis on it from then. I'd say if we look at when we had uh, spikes in volume after we initiated the bearish trend, uh, because that would go hand in hand with what we're looking at now. You can see we had a big spike here and we rolled over a big spike here and we rolled over, but we did kind of make a higher low and this was a dead cat bounce. So, uh, you know, what I would be looking for personally, like I say, I'm not going to be buying this token. Uh, I never will, but from if I was in this token, I would at least want to see a solid break above 250. Uh, you can see that we've been in this big big bear flag for quite a while now so in my opinion we would need to see a break of this uh, big green line and you know I would personally like to see a break above pro probably the, this breakdown level all the way up here at 270 so this is where I started making videos on it and you know it has been rolling downhill since then so you know until we kind of do poke our heads above this high over here if we do start doing something like this and staircasing up, in my opinion, we would be coming up for a retest of this level. But, you know, in my opinion, like I've been saying, uh, if we do just come up, bounce off this level and then start rolling downhill, I will have my eyes on 77.270. So I am sitting on the side sidelines for this, uh, this token. I'm not trading it at the moment. I, I don't really plan on trading this at all. Uh, but like I said, that's why I'm giving you my unbiased perspective. I don't hold this token, so you know I don't gain anything from saying it's bullish or bearish. But that's pretty much all I see. I would keep an eye on what happens tomorrow because I mean we have been having days for the past since the 15th of January, so almost the entire month we've been having multiple multiple days of red selling volume. We have one green day. And then it continues with the downtrend. Uh, the most we've ever put in is two green candles. So, you know, for example, if I was to kind of flip bullish, I would like to see, you know, a green candle tomorrow 
and a green candle the next day that broke above this trend line, a retest of this trend line, and then to start staircasing up. I would flip my position at which point, and then, you know, I'd probably be more comfortable saying uh, my next target would be along all the way up here to uh, at least to come and retest this as resistance. So do bear in mind, if we do have a huge, huge bounce, something like this, uh, you could still see this being a lower high in the macro term coming up to 400 and then you know, potentially coming down to fill that target that we've been talking about. So a few different scenarios to keep your eye on. Um, keep an eye on this dead cat bounce. In my opinion, it w I, I think it's more likely that we'd come up and retest 250 and come down before or you know before we do go on a, a on a big rally or a big pump this is you know a less likely scenario in my opinion but it is just a scenario to keep your mind on if we do break 250 uh we would have a pretty nice pump up to you know maybe a 65 percent pump so i've been seeing a lot of people in my videos for strong that have been saying uh they want to get out they're waiting for a pump and then they're going to sell Obviously, this I'm not advising you to do anything. Uh, all of my videos are not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so you know, always take into uh, always take that into consideration and think about your own trading plan. But yeah, uh, keep an eye on these levels. If we do break above 245, I think we would be coming up for a retest of about 400. But you know, in my opinion, we we do have a little way to go and all of the markets are kind of having a little bounce today do bear in mind the uh, total crypto market cap is still below the 618 the dollar is looking pretty healthy and pumping so i do think you know while the dollar's rallying while uh, crypto is in a general downtrend that you know most of these cryptos these risky cryptos are just going to slowly bleed out if we do have a massive pump on bitcoin tomorrow and we just you know start breaking out breaking above 46,000 then you know we could definitely talk about this being a potential bottom but you know so far we've filled our first target down here I'm not necessarily convinced this is the bottom so I'm keeping an open mind uh, I still do think it's more likely to come down to 77 and 70 uh, I do find that more likely than us just breaking out 400 and going on a big rally but like I said could be wrong this is just my own trading plan yeah, that's pretty much all I see for strong. So once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to know what's best for you. Peace.